G'day everyone and welcome back to hopefully what will be the last um, tutorial of this ser series. I have done a few things in the interim, it's been like a week since my last one, been back at work, been, you know, and just as a, when I come home at night I've been fiddling. But nothing that, you know, it was probably safer not to watch me do it on camera. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've added the eyelets in. Okay, so I've added um, eyelets in along here, eyelets in along there, and um, added some twine through that just to keep that one in place. And I have added eyelets to the quarter inch spines. So we've got here and we've got here. And in that I have tied in some elastic, so just some hat elastic. Um, you could use ribbon, you could use twine, you could use whatever you want. Whatever you've got, to be honest. What else have I done? Okay, I have also, now this is why I didn't film, because I don't have one of those big bite thingies. I've only got like the small crocodile. I don't have the big bite, so I've got to use like a big, you know, pump pump chung chung thingy. Makes ridiculous amounts of sound. Sounds like I'm beating the life out of, you know, my children to put these eyelets in place. Um, so <clears throat> that is what I have um, done with that. So done that. And then I have used um, some elastic again. And I have, um, I'll see if I can pull it out because I basically don't want to undo all the time. I have got those little, um, you know, bits that you put on the end of elastics to, you know, kind of make a loopy thingy file foldery thing. Honestly, you could tie a knot, um, but I have them, so I'm like, why not use them? And again, watching me try to use pliers to um, crimp them down and stuff is just, you know, while it'd be hilarious for you, it'd kind of be embarrassing for me. So I've done that, and I have added in some um, ephemera into the different pockets and so forth, um, and just added a few little bits of um, decoration. So I'll show you kind of what we've done. I put the clock on the front, so that's the, the clock that we did on the front, and I ended up cutting it out another couple of layers of black cardstock, um, put that together, and then just slightly offset it, um, so that it kind of picked up off the, the page a little bit. I don't want too much on there because obviously you've got the elastic and all going all over and it flat. I want it to be able to flatten out. Then I go on and I've got just other little bits and pieces. I've made um, some little tickets out of leftover I think. I've backed it with um, um, fire folder so that we can, manila folder so that we can write on it. These are just um, straight cut um, things from the um, Stamperia pack and added, made a few little tags, all of those kind of go in and then I have created one of our journals, okay? So we're going to look at how I, I made this, um, that's what we're going to look at today and then we're kind of pretty much done. Um, and then I've obviously added some more bits and pieces into here as well, so there's lots of little little bits, um, but this, so we're going to go from basically some packaging paper to this, okay, and there's certain stages that we go through, and I'm going to show you how we go about doing it, um, because I've got some ones that I need to do for the Cosmos one that um, we did as well, so they need to get done. And I have this one that's half done, that's going to be the, the twin to this one. And so we've got different stages that we can work through, so you're not sitting through and watching, like, you know, it all happen at once. Um, this is, it's kind of like a little bit of a, a show, show and, show and howie doey thingy um, while I do it. So the first thing we're going to do is get this out of the way. Okay, so I'm going to get that out of the way, get that out of the way. And we're going to look at how we go about doing this. Now, where is it? Over there. Okay, do I have them in there? Now, I'm trying to find where I've got the pieces of card cut. Oh, there they are. Okay, all right. What have I got? I have got two pieces of 
recycle, literally. Um, pieces of um, reasonably, you know, thin cardstock. So mine are these boxes. And I have cut them to, they are, let's have a look, 10, and a, 10 across and 10 and a half inches high. So that's kind of what, what I've done there. Um, and then I've folded them in half. That's, that's the excitement of this one. So obviously two journals for each one of these um, folios. Oh, words. It's been a long week back at work and my brain's already exhausted. So words are hard. Um, we will see how I go. All right, so we got that. Boom, boom. Gonna get one out of the one out of the way. Then our next friend is packaging paper, wrapping paper. This is um, coloured craft wrapping paper that I picked up at Aldi for Christmas one year. Um, and what I've done is I've momogamied it, okay, which basically means that I have wet it, scrunched it, wet it, scrunched, and like done. There's been lots of um, tutorials out in the in the interweb on YouTube land of how this stuff is made so here's an example of it with the blue and then this is an example of Amazon packaging you know the the brown paper that you get in the Amazon what it looks like when you do it so generally my mix is mostly water with a little bit of glycerin um, a little bit of hair conditioner anything like that that basically kind of just does that and then um, you dampen it and then keep scrunching it and eventually it turns into this really soft leather you know it has that um, leather kind of look to it um, which means that you can then go on and do what I'm going to do now okay so the next thing I'm going to do is bring out my mercer mat because I am messy crafter. We have we have determined that. And I've got PVA and water mix. Um, you can use Mod Podge, you can use whatevs. Um, I've got I don't know, PVA, mostly PVA with a bit of water just to liquefy it down a little bit. I've got a silicone brush. And I'm going to add it to um, half of this. For now, okay, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna be generous um, because the cardboard and the paper will soak up this PVA mix, and um, we we need it to to stickify. Okay, okay. I'm not really after a matte look because um, I'm gonna paint or anything like that. So that's why I'm not using matte Mod Podge. But you can use matte medium. You can use whatever floats your boat. Um, I'm not going to tell you something to stick it on. Probably even use glue stick. Alright, now I'm going to just add with just a little bit of overhang. I'm going to add this on. Alright. Now I'm going to come along and um, add this mixture to the other side. help seal it in because we're going to be adding paint and all to it later um, or inks or whatever it may be that you want to do you might leave it as it is I haven't decided how I'm actually going to finish this one um, uh, we've got that okay okay now and I'm going to do the other half Yeah, so what, I've been back at work three days, it's Thursday evening, and I'm like, oh, is it the weekend yet? My brain just not. Nope. Okay, I need to win Lotto, <laughs> says all of us. Um, Alright, I'm having the videos I could make for one Lotto, I'd just be, you know, be able to sit here and. Oh, the dreams, the dreams. But no, I have to go work to support my habit. Um, 
least it's I'd like to say it's a healthy habit, but you know, us in this world, I, I wouldn't say that our paper buying and all of our thing is necessarily the most healthy habit. At least it's not going to kill us, I suppose. Well, unless I get death by scissors or something. Alrighty. Okay, turning it over. Because I'm using a silicone mat, I'm not worried about it sticking or anything like that. So, pretty lucky there. Um, I'm going to just chop off any excess. Because I don't need it all. Okay, dokle. Alright. Now, let's um, tuck in our corners. So I like to tuck in my corners. In one way. In that way. And we can come along and fold the edge over. Meow, 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 meow. That one done. Let's turn it around. Fold in corner. Fold in a second corner. And fold it on up. Fold it on up. Fold it on up. Move it on up. Alright. That one. And we go over to this side and hold up this side. So Casper went for his second bandage change today this afternoon. Um, so he's he's doing okay apparently, so, but it's a little bit wet. So he's got to wear plastic over his bandage as well because we've just had rain, which is lovely. We needed it. Um, and yeah so hopefully on sunday we will see how he's going and um, find out when his stitches can get taken out see how he's healing okay so that is what we would do there then i i just take it and let it like hang over something like this and just let it dry um, is is what I will do now. I'm going to pause you while I do the second one um, so that I can let them both dry and then we'll go on and we'll decorate the you know one I prepared earlier. See you in a sec. Okay I'm back. I'm back for the next start of this. So now I'm going to get out a different kind of messy mat called piece of packaging paper. We're going to get messy. <laughs> this is always my fun part. Okay, so I've got this. I have a spongy sponge. Um, I'm just going to dampen it a little bit because I forgot to do that. You don't really need to. I just find it works a little bit better with a bit of a damp sponge. So not overly damp, but just, you know, a little bit, a little bit. And I'm going to be working with um, some distressed paints because I have them. Um, but I also have other acrylic paints. But I'm like, well, we're going we're gonna to go with this one. So I'm using Ground Espresso, Frayed Burlap, and Vintage Photo, and um, we're gonna we're gonna see what comes about. Um, should shake these up actually, because I did this the last one a few days ago. So like shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it up. Oh, or drop it around. Okay, Ground Espresso. I'm just gonna me 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 me. Messy is best. I'm going for an organic look. That's what you tell yourself anyway. It's like, yep, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. If you don't get it over your fingers, it's not as much fun. Um, but no, of course you can wear gloves and do it a lot with a lot more care than I do. Um, 
like I always say, you you do you as in how you craft. Um, no one no one can tell you how to actually do it. I could just show you my my crazy way of doing things. Um, okay, so that was with Grand Espresso. Now I'm going to come in with a bit of vintage photo and kind of kind of do some similar things just clogging it over basically building up some different tonal effects Like how you take all your frustration out. And I've had that day, you know. Some days where you just, yeah, it's one of those days where certain students just didn't want to listen. So this is where you come home and it's like, yeah, hey, yes. Alright, I got that one. And we'll come in with a little bit of the frayedness, frayed burlap. Bouncy, bouncing her around. And then you decide, do I like it? Do I need a little bit of more? I'm like, I want a little bit more Grand Espresso. So I'm just going to put a couple more dabby dabs of that on. This stuff um, dries pretty quick, so it's helpful too. that there. Now I'm going to come in with a little bit of um, spray. So water. Now you can dab it a little along, you can spray it along, you can do whatever you like to it. This is before it completely dries. Okay, just to get a little bit of distressing to the mix. Right, I'm just going to let it sit there for a moment, do its thing, do a little dance. Make a little love, don't play. Alright. Gonna wipe up some of that. Okay. Now I'm going to just let that dry. It won't take long. I'm going to go clean my sponge and um, then I'll be back to you. Okay, so we have done this. Now we're on to picking what's going to be our front and back side. Already done that. And then we're going to add our inside piece. So I have prepared earlier a piece that is 10 and 3 eighths by 9 and 7 eighths. So I've just taken basically an eighth down because I want it to take up most of the inside. But what I am going to do is round the corners. Um, I'm just going to probably a medium round will do. I'll round them on up. Okay, I'm going to ink around them. around that. Now we're going to add it. I'm going to add it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, going to, going to. I'm going to add a bit of double sided tape just to help make sure that um, it adheres down well. And as 
run out of double sided tape. Okay, is that one? Luckily, I have more. Oh, stop! Flying everywhere! Flying everywhere, man! Alright. Okay, I suppose I can get rid of this messy mat now, too. Hey? You probably don't want to see my, my messiness there. Um, I'm going to fold it in half, so I know where the halfway mark is. I'm just going to run some double sided tape down the side of that. Another one in the middle just for good measure. You don't need the double sided tape, I'm just being extra. I'm get rid of this piece of paper. Yum. Okay, I don't throw it away, just so you are. I keep using it and then eventually I'll use it in something. Um, right. Rude. Get some bits up into the corner. Down the center bit. Down. Yeah. That's what I decided on. That'll do. Okay. Let's get a nice and close here. Pretty good. Come on, okay. So we've got our journal base made. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to add this to this side and what I worked it out as is it's pretty much kind of there they're making it fit in amongst where it goes so I'm gonna just chop that down okay and that should fit in pretty good along there and it does Ink up this edge here that I've cut. A little bit. I'm just this bit. This is like, you know, an interesting little tuck spot bit. got that and then we just need to put our papers together now I've got I haven't used any digitals um, in this one so I've got a good selection of actual vintage and recycled papers um, I'm pretty lucky in the fact that I, I've got um, antique and vintage books about machinery and watches and clocks and all of that kind of stuff this is you know a replica of a Sears catalog but um, most of it is actual true authentic books so have oh, like these are only just like oh sorry knocking the world over there um these are just like a selection so i've got like a machinist pocketbook um you know a um riggers book then we've got 
this one here, I love this one. Like, the, I love the papers in it. It's full of poems. And then workshop drawings. And then watch escarpments. And it's, yeah, so I've just got a rated my books for some ones that might work with the whole theme of being a, um, you know, someone that might work with clocks and time and stuff and put it all together with a whole lot of other different pieces. I've got panola paper and, music, you know, just a random selection of stuff. So I've added that together and now I'm going to put it in. I don't mind the fact that it's over the edges and things like that. I actually wanted that look. I wanted it to look just kind of like a whole lot of paper shoved in there. Um, but that is up to you whether you like that look you can cut it down obviously and and do that probably should finish the front before I go on and sew in the signature however and get too excited with it all all right so this is just some leftover and I'm going to cut it down so it fits within and then I'm going to get a little notch Notch out the corner bits, like so. Then I am going to get a little bit of of the manila folder that was left over. I'm going to add that in, probably about there. That's good. I'm going to notch these guys out as well. And then I'm going to come in with a bit of vintage photo. And like massively, you know, get it kind of everywhere. Distress that and then come in with the walnut stain and go around the edges. glue that on to here that's pretty good up the edges of this one now I'm going to add um, some little brads in there pretty good Some of these little goldy ones. One, two. Many. I'm going to run a little bit of double sided tape down this one just to help the, the adherence. Oh, if I don't drop it. Right. going to use more like an acetone face glue here just because we got the wax there I want to make sure it really sticks and again the lids in my mouth yeah 
nice and clear. Because most of you understanding my um, Australianism is enough. But, you know, it's all good. Alright, I reckon about, about there looks good. Throw him on on. We'll just let that adhere and then we'll add some extra bits. Okay, let's add some little goldy bits to it. I'm finally using up these. I've got, I think, I, I, I do honestly think I have a, like legit a million of these things. So I was like, well, let's actually use some of these things that I have. Because, um, you know, you buy them and go, yeah, I'm going to use them. And then you put them away and you forget that you even own them. So that's what I do anyway. I don't know about anyone else, but definitely what I do. One. You can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go do this because if we're getting up to an hour of a video and I'm like, eh, mindful. Okay, so pretty shiny bits are on there now. And we will go and um, add our signature. I'm going to use a five hole pamphlet stitch. Usually I generally use a three because I'm lazy, but um, because it's a tall journal, and they're kind of all spread out. I'm going to do a, um, a five hole just to kind of help ensure that um, they're going to be well held in place, if that makes sense. All right, so how do I do this? I, because they're not, they don't need to line up, I am truly, honestly going to wing it. Um, one, two, three, about three times length, and then I've got some wax, thick wax thread here, I think it suits the whole kind of style, that's ready to go, and I'm going to come in with my awly bit, just going to make sure that it's well closed down, I more of them. I don't know what I've done with them. But, um, you know, it's not like I don't have 5,000 different other kinds of clips. But anyway, okay. So I'm going to kind of guesstimate the center. That looks about good. Not even close, but you know, we'll do. Okay, push all of that the way through. Now, before I go anywhere else, I'm going to. Pop this through so I don't lose lose the hole. Okay. Alright. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to go, I don't know, a couple of inches north. One. And three. Another couple of inches north and about. And come in and through. And that one. And a couple of inches south. that and then a couple more inches south Sorry about that, the um, oldest child just got home. I had to stop and say hello. Um, I finished it off, I was nearly done anyway. So we've got that signature. And then what I've gone and done is added those um, numbers that I showed at the beginning, um, just onto here. So we've got those little gold numbers onto the clock. And now all we need to do is add our books into the 
into the folio. Like I said, you could use twine, ribbon, whatever you want. Right. Cut that one. And then this one into this one. If you can hear talking in the background, it's just the girls catching up. There we go, so that's that one into there and it's all done now. So we've got our um, bits within, all of that. You could add more decoration if you wish to. That's, um, that's, that's up, all, always up to you. But we've got the main components done. Now it's just a matter of folding it up bringing it around and there you go Bob's your uncle we have our folio so at the end of this we've got three of these that we can look at obviously I haven't done the books for this but they're on the way so you can see how much of a difference the, the to the chunkiness chunk level the um, adding the, the books does so we've got a bit of chunk 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 and then we've got this one here which is our SeaWorld one so different styles of paper and they give off different vibes. Um, these are obviously always available. So if by any chance you were interested, get, shoot me an email. That's um, down, the, down below. But more than anything, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have and if you'd like to see more things like this. Um, I'm always happy, if people ask, I'm always happy to, to try and oblige. And um, that's it. And we're under an hour. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. As always, remember, be kind, be strong, be aware, and I'll see you later. Bye.